नमस्ते टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू बी टॉकिंग अबाउट माय लेटेस्ट कंपोजिशन डिलाइट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द होल जर्नी जर्नी ऑफ एन आईडिया हाउ इट स्टार्टेड व्हाट आर द प्रोबेबल कॉजेस ऑफ गेटिंग दैट आईडिया एंड हाउ आई एग्जीक्यूटेड इट व्हाट आर द चैलेंजेस आई फेस एंड व्हाट आई लर्न फ्रॉम दिस कंपोजिशन विल बी कवरिंग ऑल दोस थिंग्स इन दिस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी शो यू द कंपोजिशन शीट where i have written the composition so it is the raw the first glance of that idea was the pallavi the first section of the composition it was like this <laughs> instinct after that was to increase the speed so increasing the speed was just a natural instinct any any musician would do that so i just did that after that i didn't uh, have any idea what to do next so this was the only thing i wrote only till here i wrote uh, the composition i think probably if i hold it like this you can you will be able to see that because of the shadow so till here it is just one line actually i wrote it uh, of course to write this i took a long time i just procrastinated because uh, i didn't think it was a worth idea to pursue and again that's a big lesson you should not neglect the idea so i took a long time to write that but as soon as i wrote that i got the idea immediately the next day itself but before before going into that that part i want to tell you what i've written here also so i've written here mac pain theme type instrument chamber slash slow strings minus 24 bass lower octave so i'll tell you what all these things mean so if you played this game called max pain it is a shooting game the max pain is a main character there it is the name of the main character there is an officer so this game has a same kind of theme if you go and listen to it 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 feels the same because i want i heard this idea in that same exact tone uh, what do you call this instrument so it, it is like it is like the cello or uh, it's like it's a very bass slow string so that's what i heard sa ga pa sa it was very slow and it was very uh low it was i mean lower octave it was uh, very bass heavy so that would be sound like that in your mind when i when i received this idea because i i i played it in violin itself the fourth string so that was definitely there so that much was fixed so that means that now let's go on to the second part i mean the composition got completed right so the second day itself i think i think this is one of the quickest composition i've written and one of the lessons i learned is to write quickly many a times i just keep procrastinating things because i just i just want to be very unique right Pro- procrastination or perfectionism all of these things will block you from creating what you love to do but, but as soon as i realized i shouldn't do that and i should continue with what idea i've been given i received this yes right immediately the next day itself i got the whole composition so it is uh, i didn't care whether it is the same format as the old composition or not because as i told you I wanted to get this done. I just wanted to execute this idea. I wanted to respect this idea because I am grateful for that. And I think the reason behind why I received that idea or how I could complete this composition was very simple. The theme itself is the driving force which gave me the whole composition. It is based on the name itself. So when I wanted to save this in my DAW software, I had to 
see something right relevant to relevant to that composition itself and i wrote tragic expansive universe and i want to show it to you here so this is what i saved it here so in the reaper section if you can see i saved it as tragic expansive universe and that that clearly defines what this composition was all about yes really so this composition is like mixed feelings it it is like complicated feelings it's like um there is both happiness in it or joy whatever you call it there is brightness in it and there is dark side so that that is what this composition is about and when that when when i knew that this whole composition was very easy to come by i would definitely not name it tragic expansive universe um, to the youtube algorithm but that is very apt that is very apt name for this composition and of course the then sec- the name i later named it as is also very good but you know we have that nostalgic attachment to the first name we give to the composition so the second i mean the delight of the void also is a- apt because there is delight in it and yet you can feel the void in it so that is exactly what it is so as soon as i got that theme as soon as i understood that theme is what this composition is all about this was very easy so uh, this came the next day itself as i told this is one of the quickest compositions i've made the most challenging part for this composition was packaging it because one of my highest goals or highest objectives in creating any compositions is that i need to package it very well yeah i'll tell you what is my what is the basic idea behind it so carnatic music is a very powerful music it's it's really influential if you are open to it it can it can bring a lot of uh, tremendous changes in you because indian classical music uh, i'm not saying it's only carnatic indian classical music has that power so it can um, change your moods and it is beyond changing moods of course science can prove only what are the changes that can happen in the mind and body but we believe there is something beyond mind and body right so and indian classical music has the power to change or influence that too okay something beyond mind and body also but the problem is what i feel is in this era nobody wants to listen to carnatic music or indian classical music it's it's just a notion it's just a mindset it's just uh, you know a hard mentality when this someone says classical music they just want to close their ears they do, they don't even or they haven't even heard it in their entire lifetime but they still do the thing so one of my key objective or the one of my major objective is to package carnatic music in such a way that it can attract any kind of people and of course naming it as carnatic fusion naming it as something else and of course my introduction uh, everything so all those things is definitely required to bring those people and make them listen to carnatic music and and and, and you know what many people give me good feedback in fact many people don't know whether this is carnatic music or not so it is a must same thing was again a huge challenge because this composition itself is good but it's but nobody wants to listen to it i mean especially in this era you know nobody wants to listen to solo violin who would listen to solo violin at least you need a percussion you need something to to hold your attention so that was the biggest challenge in this composition what to hold your attention i did a lot of things to do that i worked on percussions which i am trying to improve Uh, for every composition i make so i started with a normal basic kit and uh, hit i had the basic drum set from the beginning itself and and also uh, if you if you had if you had noticed between pallavi and charana or between charanas there is a lot of things i i added to it so if you know
noticed there is so many things here. The kick, the drums is as usual. I had close and open is there. And I added a new violin section here. Again with the four mics I usually use. So this was the added section. I added it later actually. So and I have a thermine here. This is a weird instrument. Uh, I don't know whether you have seen it. So it is an instrument which is used uh, and which is played without touching it. So I think it's the only instrument which you can play without touching it. You are just swinging your hands in the air and uh, it will recognize and uh, you will get a frequency and amplitude based on your uh, movements. And uh, it, is, it's, it, was, it is very, it is a very unique instrument and I think it, it suited here very aptly uh, because as I told you it is a delight as well as you can feel the void and I think this is a very good instrument to showcase that. So I just wanted to add in there a little bit. So and uh, and you, you would have probably noticed this uh, airy noise. It, again this is just to uh, fill the gap between uh, between those sections and uh, you know it should it shouldn't feel too empty right so and here i have the real gun which is a part i really loved yes and i think even in the even at the end there is this rail gun and i usually wait till the end to listen to that rail gun i'll quickly show you the mix breakdown i'll give you a quick rundown so this is the pitch pitch plugin that i've added to the minus 12 and minus 24 of the violin yeah it is basically low one octave lower and this is two octave lower and i've panned both of them one to left and one to other and other to right so bass violin so bass violin bus so this is basically these two channels routed to this and then it goes to the master so it is not directly going to the master that's it so violin bus it consists of all these i'll, I'll just pull this out you'll get to know so if you can see here this is going to violin bus this is going to violin bus this is going to violin bus so these four tracks these four tracks are going to violin bus and and even these two and and these two are going to bass violin so and all and these two buses then are going to the pre-master so that uh, before going to the master i can add e even more effects so that it is compressed well and it is you know they are sandwiched together in a very good manner harmoniously so this v bus is the another violin bus that i have used for these four tracks these four tracks are violin itself but uh, uh, these are the extra violin se sessions that i took that is between two charanas there is uh <laughs> For that I used these four tracks and for that also I created a separate violin bus because I, I wanted to feel I wanted them to feel a bit different. I and I didn't want uh, to add minus four and minus twenty four there purposefully. And then the, uh, we uh, let's go to the main tone in this. So main tone will be usually yeah this softy whatever that is next to the violin that will that will be the main uh, tone so softy is like this it has a little bit of reverb it is it is very good it is very good it has that melody it has a tanginess it has that uh, um, it is kind of piano also and it has that reverb, I like that reverb and also of course I, I think I've added very, no, very 
boost there. So it is this is the same same thing but with card. That, uh, that is actually uh, this is uh, this is playing from pa instead of sa. So you can listen to that difference if you listen to them together. Yeah, you feel as if there is a chorus of instruments there, but there isn't. Only there is two instruments, but they are playing in different chords. That's all. It's it's basic actually. So bass usual. And uh, lock and spell I think I've used only in the beginning. Yeah, this these kinds of uh, instruments are used to create that dark side. You know that when I say delight of the void, the void is I'm showing those things with these kinds of uh, things. And there is bright bell. See again, I, as I told, there is bright and dark. Yeah, sorry, and there is bright bell, but uh, this. This is. But here it, it doesn't feel bright at all, uh, because the purpose is to make a, make a sound compounded with all these other sounds that should sound good. That's all. See, that that is that gives entirely different feel. And then there is ring and ring space. I'll show you the ring and ring space individually. Then I'll show you. Right? See, the ring space is adding an extra vibe to it. It's just very funky, actually. It's just very funky, actually. Um, so, next, uh, together, they sound very good. Right? And all of them together. So these are all the instruments that I've used and of course uh, there is not much little thing done to it, there is no uh, processing done to it. It's, 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 it's directed to pitch bus which is here pitch bus is uh, it's nothing it's just plus 3 C is 1 so so if I keep it to 0 it will be in C and if I do 1 and 2 and 3 so that will change to C sharp D and D sharp respectively so that is how that is happening wherever you can see pitch bus here that is what is happening there and uh, other than that i haven't i haven't used any any effects on any of them because they are already good samples they are well processed already and only i am just uh, using a compressor here for that bus so just to uh, you know just to compress it a bit because uh, you know these samples are very good and they are, they will take up the, they they will take over their whole mix so i don't want that to happen because violin is the main uh, person here uh, and bright bell i showed you i i mean sorry where was i i was here i was yeah i showed you it is just uh, a noise and uh, psychedelic it's something real <laughs> actually sounds horrible if it is if it is played if it is soloed and played but together with other instruments it doesn't sound that bad because uh, the other instruments dominate over this right so together it sounds like this Still, psychedelic sounds so bad if I played it alone. But, but I, I wanted, I wanted that funkiness, that um, that, that texture. I wanted that texture, so I I kept that. And um, then there is this one. I'll play it. 
Same thing here. It's not great if you play it alone, but that texture, that that uh, the texture between those notes, right? There is there is that kind of oscillation there, right? So that I wanted. And Termin, I told you already, Digilog is. Combine and give a, an overall good sound. So the Reagan, as I told, it was my favorite. Kick again. I've just only added Tube Saturator here, one of my favorite plugins to saturate anything. And uh, saturation is not giving volume or anything like that. Saturation is entirely different concept. It's like a compressor. So reverb for open hat. And uh, that's it. And these two are these two are sample from my own violin. It is just pluck of my fourth string. So I use ADSR for managing my samples and playing like keyboard. for that and by the way this is my sample pack uh, I'm, I'm making a sample pack for that you know just plucking my violin strings and uh, so that's it these are the tracks in this composition I think I left only only the buses as I told uh, V buses for the other four violin tracks that I used for uh, the the extra take I the extra take between the charanas and this is the drum bus for the drum section and pitch bus I already explained. This pre master already explained uh, this is to add effects before the master and what I've put there is this. It is also one of my favorite favorite compressor. Both TDR, Molo, what is it, Molotok and uh, Kotelniko which is here. Both TDR plugins, they are free and they're very good uh, they're very good compressors um but yeah both are very different actually uh, this gives a uh, good texture and this gives a uh, more of more like a bright sound so this is for i use this for uh, masters and uh, when you want clarity and volume i use this when you want uh, brightness basically i use this one and uh, i use this one for uh, skipping things and uh, giving uh, harmonic progression and like it should, it should sound like there is uh, decent texture to it right uh, i don't know i can't explain that it has some texture to it i can i can listen to it and and i can analyze that i can i can just feel that and this ozone and uh, we have ozone here for again uh, for the pre-master and then there's Shruti, the usual. I've I've kept the tracks, overlaid them on top of other uh, in a series matching. So this is the master track. The master track has this TDR Kotonikao. As I told, this is one of the best compressor, which is free and uh, it gives you good. It gives you good bright tone and uh, and also you, you have good controls over the uh, gain and uh, we have fin micro this is actually it is an ambience plugin it, it, it is just giving you uh, a slight amount of of course you can you can adjust the amount it gives you a reverb and delay based on the mode you select the mode is a variety of them i use i've used simple ambience of course uh, tr trial and error uh, whatever the more you want and this is uh, this is the inbuilt plugin i'm using right now to send the audio signal from this to the obs where i am recording this video right so i'm this i'm using this plugin to record the audio from this DAW software to to the obs so that's it so that's the quick mix breakdown uh, i think i i only left is the violin section i didn't talk about the 
um, EQ EQ part. So this I've just only I've only done EQing on each individual tracks of violin and everything else I've done on the violin bass. Again here I've used tube saturator for the so you can basically see I'm using tube saturators texture here and Kotelnikov's brightness here. So I'm doing I'm using each plugin for a purpose and every plugin here have a purpose i'm just not putting something without knowing what it is doing and reverb of course uh, the normal thing it's not uh, something new this time i think i forgot or i purposely uh, left out that reverb i didn't use that reverb bass at all i don't know why i'm seeing now uh, probably i i forgot or, or i don't remember making a conscious choice anyway so that is the complete mix breakdown and moreover it is the journey of an idea so uh, i really felt great creating this composition and it still feels great to listen to it i i often listen to it whenever uh, whenever i feel like to and uh, now it's on spotify so i listen there if you want if you are someone who listens on spotify you can go there of course there, it is on every other major music streaming platforms amazon prime uh, Geosam and etc. So yeah, you can listen wherever you want and of course thanks to all of you who have already listened to it uh, and given a massive support to what I'm doing. I'll continue to create, share and get inspired and try to inspire all of you guys. So thank you. I'll see you in my next one.